Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Patrick Nation, and I'm back with another YouTube video for you guys. This video is actually about how do I feel about cheaters. So, technically, um, it, well, cheaters and liars. So, technically, I honestly hate cheaters and liars. I feel like karma is going to come get them. I feel like a lot of people cheat and lie because they're bored. A lot of people cheat and lie because they don't have anything to do. Or they say that they don't get any attention. A lot of people cheat and lie because self-esteem issues or because they just want to you know people some people are naturally born a hoe you see what i'm saying or some people are naturally born a attention seeker you know and it's crazy out here that you can have a good person and the person could go way off and back for your ass to do whatever the fuck you ask them the person can sit up there and do all this stuff for you the person can sit up here and break their motherfucking neck for you and break their back for your ass but you sit up here and you do them dirty like for what like at the end of the day you're not going to find another person like that because maybe that was your person that god sent you know maybe that person was sent from god basically and uh, Yo ass sit up there and did what the fuck you did and cheated and lied. And now that person don't trust you. And now that person don't have no ties with you and don't want no ties with your ass. Now you're single and you're running around for what? A nut or some, or some pussy or whatever the case may be. Sorry, excuse my language. Nah, I'm wrong. But no, at the end of the day, you know, like, it's just real shit. Like, you you running around for what? Like, and then now you running around going to this person, that person, this person, that person. Like, you're unstable as fuck. You would never find anybody you knew or get nowhere in life. Because at the end of the day, bitch, you played yourself. You didn't play me, you played yourself. Um, I hate a lot of, I hate liars and cheaters. I just feel like people just need to grow up. And then when people want to grow up and be a certain age, they be damn to like, what? What, how old? 30 something years old, 38 years old. Now they want to grow up. But I learned the hard way. Just because you're older doesn't mean that you're mature. You have younger people that's more mature than older people nowadays. At first, older people used to be mature, but now you have younger people who actually want relationship, want something serious, and that old. I mean, that's mature, more mature than older people. Older people like to play games. Older people think they know everything. Older people want to um, manipulate things and dominate everything and do what the fuck they want to do without being told what to do or how to do this and how to do that because they're stuck in their ways. They're all this fuck. They're stuck in their ways. They're not going to change. You know, you could change sometimes. If you, if the person is willing to change, you can change them. If the person is really, really not to change or don't want to change, you cannot change that person. That person will never change. That person will always be the same. They're going to carry the shit on to the next relationship. They're going to carry the shit on in their lifetime. You know, and that's just sad, you know, to me, like, you would rather be a hoe and be single than be with somebody and be happy. Like, I don't understand that. I don't get it. You know, but, you know, karma's a bitch, and I feel like the people that are doing that, are not going to be happy with their life and they're not, they're not happy with their life. You see what I'm saying? So this is my take on um, liars, how I feel about liars and cheaters. Like, comment, subscribe to this video, you guys, and give it a big, fat, thick thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Patrick Nation in the building. Peace out.